Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijayta Vardhan Aram and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane, sorry projection of solids and an example problem is like this. A cone of 50 mm base diameter and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its generators. Draw the projections when the axis is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Now according to the given conditions, so one has to construct the cone for which the base diameter is given as 50 mm. So one will go to the circle by center point command with 0.5 mm thick and the diameter of the circle is 50 mm. It should be drawn in the HP like this. And here there will be no any corners for which we have to create it. So we shall go to a line command with a thickness of 0.13 and a continuous line. Just move the cursor on the circumference so that the center point is going to be highlighted. Now from the center one has to draw a radius line like this. And after drawing the radius line, select that radius line properly. Then one has to go to a circular pattern. And we know that the total angle of the circle is 360 degree and this circle we are going to divide it into 8 equal parts and then we have to define the center. The center is going to be the end point what we have going to be selected and then say finish. Now one can see that the circle is divided into 8 equal parts which is going to be the temporary corners. And after which make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13. One has to project each and every corner till it touches the XY line to draw the front view in this particular stage. And then after drawing all these things, now we know that the height of the axis is given as 16 mm. So we'll rather go for 16 mm axis line and the boundary line is going to be completed with respect to the visibility like this. And then using a 0.13 mm as a thickness, all other generators, whatever we have. So here we will not call these lines as a generators, sorry, uh, we will not call this as a slant edges, we call it as a generators because the corners has been generated by dividing the circle into equal number of parts. <coughs> and after dividing it to equal number of parts, now whatever the edges we are going to get here will not be called as slant edges, it is called as end generators. Only the end generators must be a dark and rest of the generators inside the triangle is going to be shown as a light line. And then this is supposed to be shown as in the form of a chain line because this is a axis. Now using a smart dimension or distance between command show that the axis height is 60 millimeter and the diameter of the circle is 50 millimeter. And after which make use of a text command name the respective corners as A, B, C, D, E, F, G and this is going to be H accordingly. Then uh, the axis portion O as well as O1. Then in the front view the base is supposed to be named as A dash. Then we have B dash as well as H dash. And then we have C dash as well as G dash. And then we have O1 dash. And then we have D dash as well as E dash. And then we have sorry d dash as well as f dash and then we have a dash so this is going to be the uh, the base and the apex is going to be marked as o dash now after which the front view is completed in all aspects now it is stating that one uh, the 60 mm axis length and resting on one of its end generators now what is the generators o dash e dash and o dash a dash is going to be the generators now we'll take the reference as o dash e dash is supposed to be on the hp now for which one has to select the front view completely then make use of a move command move in such a way that corner e dash is going to be repositioned on the xy line at a convenient distance then go to a rotate command say that e dash is on xy line and o dash has to be rotated towards the xy line like this now one can see that this is the required thing and after which we are going to slightly shift the text below above the xy line so that it is going to represent the front view <coughs> then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 and a continuous line so one can start drawing the necessary projectors to draw the respective stage front and top views now this is how we are going to draw the respective projectors now b and h is there so we will connect uh, b to b and uh, H is going to be connected to this line 
and F is also going to be connected here. Then the remaining is C and G. So we'll get that C and G properly. So so is connected to C and G is connected to G. Now one can see that this is going to be the required ellipse. <coughs> Once this ellipse has been constructed, and then make use of the text command, name the respective corners. So this is going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and this is going to be H. And this is going to be O1, and this is going to be O. And after drawing these things, now we have to complete the boundary here. The boundary cannot be drawn as a straight lines directly. So this top view of the circle is going to look like an ellipse. So we'll construct the ellipse first. For which we'll go to a command called as ellipse by center point. We know that by drawing these two major and minor axes, we will get the center point that is. O1 and then A is supposed to be the primary axis and G is going to be taken as the secondary axis with respect to the <coughs> tangent symbol. Now one can see that the ellipse has been constructed and the thickness of the ellipse must be 0.5 millimeter. And now one can see that, uh, let me zoom this over any confusion. One can see that the ellipse has been reconstructed of the because. The circle, if it is inclined to any of the plane, it is going to look like an ellipse. Then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter. Do not connect G to O. Now, once you connect G to O, one can observe that there will be a slight error in the figure, so it should not be done. So click anywhere with the help of point on element symbol. Now you can see the line is going tangential to this arc, and then that tangential point should be connected to O. The tangent point will not be edgy. One can observe in the figure very carefully. Now connect this line as tangentially and once again here also for the tangentially because this is going to form the boundary line. And after which from here to here it is going to be the invisible edge. That is, that is after G and before C there will be an invisible line for which the ellipse has to be splitted. For which I am going to show you a command called as split command. Go to a split command. What has to be splitted? The ellipse must be splitted. The ellipse has been selected. Where the split point should be started? Before the G and then before the C. Now this is the another point. Now one can see that when we select these two points, this is going to be split like this. Now this splitted line is supposed to be changed as uh, invisible edges like this. Now one can see that the construction is completed as per the required conditions and after which and after which one has to redraw this view at this vp now what is the condition of vp is given draw its projection when the axis is inclined to vp at 30 degree now one can measure the length of the axis the axis length is going to be measured as 55.38 which is going to be a reduction in length because of the inclination now using a line command with the chain line, one has to construct the axis position that is from the intersection O to O1, the axis line is measuring as 55.38 millimeter. Now we have to go for a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13. One has to construct, one has to construct the inclined line whose angle is supposed to be the true angle, which is supposed to be set as an angle of 30 degree. And after which O1 has to be positioned there using the point command and O1 with the 2 mm thickness we are going to locate it. Then using the arc by center point command with 0.13 as a thickness, O1 as the center, the true length is going to be transferred on the true angle first and then we are going to construct the locus line. After constructing the locus line, once again go to arc by center point command with 0.13 as a thickness. With O1 as the center, the radius value must be taken as 55.38 which is nothing but the apparent length and that apparent length has to be shifted on this locus line. Then join this apparent line properly using the line command. Then the angle between these two lines is measuring as 33 degrees and after which one can say that the angle beta is 33 degree and then we have to select the 
top view completely. Along with the top view, we have to select any three projectors to complete the next stage front view. Then make use of a move command move with respect to the O1 and O1 should be positioned properly on the O1 and then make use of a rotate command rotate in such a way that O1 is on the uh, 33 degree line and then O is also shifted on the 33 degree line that is the angle beta then if you are having any sort of doubts uh, using trim command one can trim this extension which is not required in the form of a projector to us and afterwards make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 millimeter then start drawing the projectors from the respective stages this has O and the C is going to be projected to C so C is going to be projected to C then we have G we will project G to G then we have A A is going to be projected to A and then we have B so lock the angle as 90 degree to avoid confusion so B is at this height so get the projector endpoint over there so we will connect B to B along with B we have H so we shall finish the H also then we have our D so D is at this location D and F so again lock the angle as 90 degree to avoid the confusion so F is come sorry D is completed now F is supposed to be completed at an angle of 90 degree and then E is going to be on the E is going to be on the XY line and then the last point which is nothing but O1 is at this right then make use of a text command name the respective corners as A dash P dash C dash D dash E dash F dash G dash and this is going to be H dash and this is going to be O1 dash and this is going to be O dash and after marking all these things then go to a Karu command and using a 0.5 mm as a thickness start drawing the Karu from H dash to A dash and to B dash and C dash and you can stop the curve over there now one can see that it is going to an error so I will undo that one so using a 0.5 mm as a thickness draw the curve H dash to A dash A dash to B dash now using curve command will complete the curve H dash to A dash A dash to B dash then C dash D dash E dash F dash G dash and H dash now one can see that the curve has been completed as per the requirement and after which make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter connect the curve E dash to O dash and then O dash to A dash do not curve are connected so make it as a tangent point for which start drawing a line from here and connect it to the O dash properly now so this is supposed to be connected to the O dash we will using the connect command we will connect this point to the O dash like this now one can see that there will be an error so we will reconstruct that O dash to the respective slant edges ok so we will connect O dash to any one of the point over there like uh, B dash now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects now if you are having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and we are not uh, generated the axis we will generate the axis first so axis is going to be represented over here which is in the form of a chain line and 0.13 mm thickness now if you are having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and I can say that the problem is completed in all aspects and kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching this video once again